Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live about two o'clock every Thursday afternoon. Sometimes we run a little late, but things can't always work on time. Uh, and we promote businesses that are successful in Hawaii uh, and those organizations that help support those businesses and, and make them successful. Uh, we broadcast, as I mentioned, every week on Thursdays. Uh, and we do this from the Pioneer Plaza in downtown Honolulu in the high-tech studios of Think Tech Hawaii. Uh, today we have a guest all the way from the Big Island, from Hilo, uh, Kathy Wiltsey, who's the state director of the Small Business Development Center. Uh, she runs everything statewide from Hilo, uh, but has come all the way over to Honolulu for uh, today's show. So we appreciate Kathy making that trip. Thank you very much. Um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, SBDC has been in Hawaii for quite a while, right? Yes. Um, the SBDC has been a program of the University of Hawaii at Hilo uh, for 28 years now. 28 years. Yeah. All right. Um, and how long have you been involved with SBDC? A little over six years now. Six years. Mm -hmm. All right. And how, what's, how did you end up coming and becoming involved as a state director for SBDC? Well, um, I came from the Virginia Small Business Development Center. Ah, so you got some history there then. I have quite a bit. Good. Um, so the, um, in that position, um, as the associate director, um, there, the job opened up. I threw my hat in the ring, and next thing I knew, I was on a plane to Hawaii. So. Very good. Okay. Well, welcome to Hawaii. Thank you. Um, is it everything that you expected it to be? And more. Oh, good. I love good, it. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's, Hilo is a little different than Honolulu. It's a little well, bit more laid back. A yeah. little bit. Yeah, I used to spend a lot of time in Hilo. Yes. Um, you know, I, I was an auditor for the Bank of Hawaii, and we used to go over and audit the branches mm -hmm. uh, at the Bank of Hawaii over there. So. Right. It was a lot of fun. So and tell me, uh, give us the background. How did Hilo end up becoming the state office for all of the SBDCs statewide? How did that happen? Um, actually, that was a decision when the program was brought into Hawaii. Um, Senator Inoue um, determined he was, he was concerned that since it's a statewide program, if it was a lo located only in Oahu, um, the neighbor islands wouldn't get a very mm, good representation. Right. Yeah, they um, wouldn't get you, the attention that yeah, it, they that, deserve. Exactly. Yeah. So we now have um, actually two offices on the big island, uh, one in Hilo, one in Kona. Um, we have an office here, the uh, main office in Oahu here um, is out at the, um, with HTDC at the uh, Manoa Innovation Center. Right. Right. And then there's also a satellite office on the west side Good. that helps out the small businesses yeah, out there. I've heard way. that they've got a town forming out there in the west side somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's gotten really big. They've mm -hmm. been working on that for a while. So that's good. They deserve to have their own representation right. out there. And then you mentioned also there's one on Kauai. Yes, Kauai and Maui. And Maui. Yes. Very good. So you've got the entire state covered. We do. Um, and tell me a little bit about SBDC. What, what does it do? What what on all these different islands that you've got offices, what is it, the services they provide? Okay. Our primary service is actually one-on-one -on -one business consulting. Um, we work both with people forming businesses as well mm -hmm. as with existing businesses across the state. And it's any small business, which of course, as you know, most businesses in Hawaii are small business by the standards of the SBA. They are. By some estimates, it can be as high as 97, 98 percent. Yes. You know, yeah. And what's also important, and maybe even more important, is the fact that they also provide at least half of the employment in the state. You know, mm -hmm. that's where a lot of employment generates is from the, that small business community. So you really need to have a healthy small business community to keep people employed. Absolutely. Um, we, we tend to think of it as if you aren't 
going to have your own small business, you may end up working for one. So it's good to know as much as you can about how small businesses operate in the state. Exactly. And a lot of people, I guess, if you work there, you can appreciate this more. But when you work for a small business and there's only a handful of you there, mm -hmm. everybody kind of pitches in and works together. And the more you know, the more successful it's going to be. Yes, absolutely. That's good. Yeah. Small business owners as well as employees tend to wear a lot of hats. Right. And so when you do your, your training out at the centers, mm -hmm. do you train just the owners or can you also train the employees so that they can get more up to speed with that? How does that work? Uh, the training classes are totally open. Um, generally the one-on-one -on -one counseling is, is strictly for like upper management, the right. owners and, and you know maybe a general manager, something like that. Um, but the training sessions are open, anyone can attend, sure. and we often have um, employers who invite several of their employees to come to some of the training classes. Well, that's great, and you know, mm -hmm. is there a charge for some of this? Um, there's a nominal charge for the training, um, mostly 10 to $25, no, we don't well, go over that. that barely covers the cost. Uh, so, exactly, yeah. that's, that's the only reason we do it, and, and to make sure that people feel like they uh, have a reason to show up for the class. <laughs> That's right. Well, you get a little skin in the game. It makes you a little bit more serious about taking advantage exactly. of it. Exactly. No, that's good. Um, and you've got, who, who teaches these courses? I mean, I know you've got counselors on staff, and mm -hmm. they do a lot of the one-on-one, -on -one and, and they right. kind of hold everything together. But I guess they do some training, but you also have other people do training too? That's correct. Um, many of the basic classes, like how to start a small business in Hawaii, fill in your county, um, those are taught generally by staff. Um, there are many specialty classes that we give, um, mm. uh, social media for example, um, financing your business, some of those we bring in sp other specialists right. to uh, help out. That's always some of the more popular courses, at least from my experience mm -hmm. of, of working with the Chamber of Commerce and the SBA, is that you know, usually they like to know how to get some money so they can do their business mm -hmm. or grow their business right. or buy a business. Uh, and then they also want to know how to get more sales and how to do their marketing. And, mm -hmm. and in today's, today's uh, environment, you know, the e-commerce is a big piece of that. Absolutely. So, you know, you, you have those two components and, and you've got a majority of the interest of the, the SMB, the small and mid-sized business community out there. Right. You know, Absolutely. How, how often are these classes uh, scheduled? Well, um, last year we did, for example, across the whole state, 90 classes. Wow. So they're, they can come pretty often. Um, of course, it's, it's across the state, so uh, an individual center. They have at least monthly training mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. on various subjects. Like I said, the, the basic ones, they repeat so that if people don't have a chance to come in, a particular one, there'll be another one coming up. Right. Now you have a website, right? We do. And what is that website address? It's uh, www.hawaiisbdc, H-I-S-B-D-C, I'm sorry. H-I. SBDC.org. Um, SBDC right, yeah. okay, and so that'll get you to the main home website, uh -huh. and then each island will have a little bit of individual centers. That's correct. Okay, and if they wanted to, if, if anybody out there wanted to see uh, the calendar, there would be calendars on there that would go out for a few months or so. Right. Uh, and then they would list out all the different courses that's being right. offered. So they, they do show, and you can even check if you happen to be traveling around the state, you can go to a class anywhere, you're not restricted to your, your home location. Okay, um, now I'm gonna wear my, my CPA hat for a minute, okay. so if I wanted to take a course on how to raise capital, and I looked on the calendar and I saw that there was a course being offered over on Kauai, mm -hmm. I could actually fly to Kauai, take the course, and it'd be a business deduction. There you go. Hey. It would, indeed. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see if we you can take to, advantage you, of that. Exactly. You'll have to be checking out that schedule. <laughs> Very good. So for anybody who's looking to get more information on any of the centers or mm -hmm. the calendar, uh, they just got go to um, www.hi and SBDC. it is sbdc.org. Correct. And that'll give you all the information and you just mm -hmm. kind of drive from there. Um, but there's other that, information on there too, right? That's what I was just going to mention. Um, in addition to um, 
the, the basic information of how to get in touch with us and what classes we offer. Uh, it's actually how you would request counseling, mm -hmm. individual counseling. Um, you'll see uh, quite a bit of history and other links to other important things for small business. Um, there's a disaster recovery plan on there. Mm -hmm. um, a lot, you know, a lot of the things that we find are useful for small businesses are there. Well, it sounds like a site you'd want to go to and, and explore a little bit I was and see say, what's it's, there. It's definitely has some interesting um, items on it. Another very interesting area is um, the success stories. Mm -hmm. So each island also posts. Um, we try to do at least two per counselor per year for each of the centers, each of the counselors. So there's quite a few success stories on there um, about well, businesses who have worked with us and have been very satisfied. Well, let me with the let results. me hold that thought for a second. What I'd like to do is take a quick break. Uh, and then come back, and then maybe we can talk a little bit about the success stories that, that mm -hmm. uh, studies on how things can can be done and, and work through. They're snapshots. Snapshots. Mm -hmm. um, but then I want to get into the details of how successful SBDC has been this past year, mm -hmm. and uh, you know to just yeah, demonstrate how helped. how much value mm -hmm. there is there. Uh, but this is business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Uh, we're here talking with SBDC. That's a small business development corporation. I'm sorry, center. Uh, in Hawaii. Uh, we're going to take a short 60 second break and we'll be right back. Research says reading from birth accelerates the baby's brain development. And you're doing that now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the starting line. Push. Uh, uh, when this is over, you're dead. Read aloud 15 minutes. Every child, every parent, every day. Welcome back. This is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here this week talking with the Small Development, Small Business Development Center of Hawaii. Uh, we got Kathy Wisley here. Wiltsey. 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 I'm sorry, I said it right yeah, the first you time. You did. You know, I got tongue tied. But Kathy, um, tell us a little bit about success sex stories that you were just getting into. It's um, just little snapshots of, of some of the different things that, mm -hmm. that SBDC has done in the past. Um, and can you share some of those stories with us? Um, well, it's a, it's a very wide range of types of businesses um, because of the, the business makeup here and who we tend to help a lot. You'll see many restaurants mm. and um, how they've been able to expand. Um, recently, we've been working with quite a few breweries. Um, now that sounds like fun. It, that's one of our <laughs> favorites. And. Um, of special note is that last year, um, Garrett Marrero, um, who is Maui Brewing Company, mm -hmm. was the national winner for the Small Business Person of the Year. Right, and which is one of the, the annual awards that the Small Business Administration does, right? It's a big one. He went yeah. to Washington, D.C. for it. It was, wow. it was really great. Another, another nice. honor for Hawaii. It, it, I mean, we've, absolutely. we've actually had several of those over the years, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's done really well. And it sounds like you, uh, your, your centers had a lot to do with that then. Yes, we've been working with Maui Brewing for many years from when he first built his new facility. Um, We've assisted him in getting um, 
various types of financing. We actually did a feasibility study for him mm -hmm. that enabled him to do quite a bit of the financing for the new So this location. is a good example. You come to the SBDC and you become a, a national award-winning company. That's yeah, right. That's, that's, that's right. That's good. And All right. Most small businesses would aspire to be like, like Garrett Marrero. Yeah, he, very he's good. Great. He's now, a great you success You mentioned story. feasibility study. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes people like to have a feasibility study of a company or a product that they're thinking about doing. Um, is that something that you guys are involved in as well? We do feasibility studies. Um, it's an offering that we make for a reasonable charge. Um, often they're required by um, agencies, federal agencies like the USDA. Mm. Um, and in order for them to make a loan, they need to make sure that the business is viable. Now, a lot of people don't realize it, but the USDA actually provides a lot of funding for startup companies. Quite a bit, quite a bit. So um, they account for a, a big portion of, especially when we, we have done a feasibility study, that's going to be one of the biggest impacts you'll see in what we count as our capital infusion. Well, as a matter of fact, you, you've got a couple um, uh, slides or, or pictures we're going to mm -hmm. show up on the screen, but page one talks a, a little bit about uh, some of the things you've done this past year. That's right. And so it's on the screen, and can you just walk us through this a little bit? Sure. Um, these are all the um, kind of the, the key highlights of some of the activities from last year. And as you can see, um, the client served was uh, 1,302 clients across the state just in calendar year 2017. And to become a client, you actually have had one-on-one -on -one counseling um, with our uh, with any of our counselors. Our See, advisors. That, that's an impressive number. That's a hundred a month, over a hundred a month. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and, and primarily out of um, five major offices. Um, the jobs created, again, across the this, this state, we're very proud of, um, 373 jobs. And when we claim them as jobs created for the SPDC, uh, we actually uh, get a form signed by the clients mm. that affirms that it was the SBDC that allowed them to give us these impact numbers. Very good. So business starts, capital infusion, um, their sales numbers, which aren't really reflected here, um, but that's all affirmed well, by the client. But there's also a multiplier effect to this too. I mean, there, there could be, you know, 373 jobs created and a lot of new sales, but then all of a sudden there's other companies that are involved in, mm -hmm. in helping the business grow oh. and get bigger. And so there's a, a multiplier effect that, that spreads out through the economy. Mm -hmm. So it, it's Absolutely. really a very big positive number. Yeah, if you think about, and we don't have time to go into it today, but if you think about the um, tax revenues for the mm -hmm, state, for mm -hmm. example, um, just on the jobs created, that's very significant. Um, the GET taxes yeah. on, the, on the successful businesses. Yeah. Well, we all know, at least that during this time of the year, how much the taxes add up to. So, <laughs> yes. you know, we're all going it's, through that right yes, now. So absolutely. It is a, that's also a big number. Mm -hmm. And then the capital infusion, as I referred to uh, a little bit earlier, uh, we had over 29, $29,415,734 um, over last year that was attributed to help by the SPDC. And that's a huge number when you think it about is. that's financing, um, owner investment, um, a lot of things, grants. Um, right, right. All the sources the that that There's money comes in to help support that but, business but and get it going. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And again, that's that's key for keeping the economy well, that's healthy. That's $30 million almost, and that's, right. that's a good round number too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's uh, very healthy. Um, you know, and I guess uh, I can see on here you've done 90 workshops, and, and that's another multiplier. Right. You do 90 business workshops, but there's going to be at least mm -hmm. 10 or 20 people in each workshop. Oh, so yes. you, well over 1,000 people. Yeah, I was going to say, um, on page two, just real quickly, I won't go into the details here, but for the training events, there were 90 last year and over 1,300 um, attendees at those various workshops. So that's, that's a significant number of people who are getting to learn more about 
how to run a business. Right. Or how to run you know run the business better exactly you know, be more productive more efficient right. more profitable mm -hmm. i mean these are all very good components mm -hmm. uh and sbdc is very active in in supporting this mm -hmm. and so this is a this is a great service mm -hmm. uh, that is being provided and you can also see that um the trends have been we've been steadily able to increase our impact mm -hmm. and um the value to the to the economy here in hawaii Right. So now, is this how is all of I mean, this is all great stuff, and this is all great benefit to the small business community mm -hmm. and to the employees that work mm -hmm. for small businesses. Uh, how is all this paid for? Is this uh, coming out of tax dollars, or is this what's the funding for well, SBDC? Indirectly, we're we're funded um, federally through the um, United States Small Business Administration, and also by the state of Hawaii through a line item that goes through our host, University of Hawaii at Hilo, mm -hmm. um, to support our activities. So that's how we can offer the counts. One-on-one -on -one counseling is all free of charge. Yeah, and that, that's time consuming. I mean, it, that mm -hmm. takes some time, and uh, you know, these people that do the, the counseling are, are pretty bright people. They, they can be very helpful. Well, so. and, they, and they, a lot of their job is also conducting research on the particular um, interests or activities mm -hmm. or needs of the client. So they do a lot of research on, on behalf. Well, that's that's a very good point. It's not just a one-on-one -on -one conversation. There's a lot of prep time that's necessary Absolutely. to get to that point. Absolutely. Yeah. And we also have, um, not sure if you even are aware of this, but the Hawaii Business Research Library um, is on Maui. And we actually do, we take requests from clients and we look up information that is like internet information, for example, mm. or um, studies, services, um, to, to give people examples of business plans, industry ratios, um, things wow. that, that help them become more successful in their given industry. If there was a, an existing business that was out there and they wanted to do some industry comparisons, mm -hmm. Uh, how would they request that information? Do they go online and go through that route, or do they reach out to somebody? They would they would reach out to their local um, center or any of our centers, um, and ask to set up an appointment to speak to a counselor. Um, then generally the counselor will will go deeper into what the need is, I see. and then we request it from from our library. All right, very good. Um, we intend to, and probably later this year we'll have an online request form for that. Very good. Well, it sounds like you had a great 2017. We did, And, and the trends are getting better. What mm -hmm. are you expecting for 2018? That's gonna continue? It's gonna continue. Now, some of the changes that are coming, I mean, uh, you know, it's too early to tell, but, you know, it, it looks like we're heading into a year that's gonna have some pretty positive growth for the small business or all business uh, mm -hmm. in general. Um, so are you guys ready for this? It might well, get busy. <laughs> we, we try to keep up, um, and that's when we, if we find subjects that are, are of particular interest, that's why we uh, supplement our services with the training classes so Good. that we can get to more people um, in a quicker amount of time, more efficiently. Well, that's great. This is uh, you know, great information, and I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of information also on the website. And that website is, one more time? It's H-I-S-B-D-C dot org. Very good. And you go on there and you can poke around. There's going to be all kinds of information yes. on there and links to other places, and too, that has other information. Exactly. So that, that's excellent. I uh, really appreciate your time coming over here. Um, and look forward to an update, you know, maybe in, in six months and see how the year is going and sure. if we're hitting the numbers. That you know, this is good. very impressive. Well, and I, I get over here a lot, as you can imagine, with the statewide uh, yeah, yeah. group. Um, I do a, quite a bit of traveling. So. Very good. Well, Kathy, thank you again. No problem. Um, this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We were here today uh, talking with uh, SBDC and the state director, Kathy Wiltsey. Uh, we appreciate her coming all the way over from Hilo to visit with us. Uh, have a safe trip home, and we'll see everybody next week. Aloha.